Hi there, Neil Clark here from Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com. Welcome to the channel. Videos contained here are designed for my pupils, although they're free for anyone to use. If you're benefiting from the videos, please subscribe to the channel. This is completely free to do. May I also ask that you consider supporting my chosen charity, Parkinson's UK, by donating to my Just Giving page. The link to that page may be found in the comments box below this video. Today is Saturday the 11th of September 2021 and it's day number 42 of the Piping 100 Challenge. It's also my mum and dad's diamond anniversary so many congratulations to you guys and we'll see you later on. Today we're in the churchyard of Falkirk Trinity Church or in fact just the Falkirk. I'm not going to say too much about it. What I will say is this building, this church is how Falkirk actually got its name. And we're going to be back here at least another twice to cover 1746 and 1781. Today we're here to mark 1298 and I'm going to let this very fine gentleman tell you all about those events. On the 22nd of July 1298 it was one of the worst days in Scottish history. It was the date that the Battle of Falkirk took place, which of course resulted, as we know, in the defeat for Sir William Wallace. This kit card here is full of history from that battle, and there are two of the commanders of that battle buried in these very grounds. The first and closest to us is a grave slab there to Sir John Stewart of Bonkill who led 600 archers from the Isle of Butte and was killed along with every single man that he commanded in the battle. The Butte Cross over to the back of us commemorates the fallen from Butte of that battle. And of course, not forgetting, last and not least, Sir John de Graham, whose magnificent tombstone lies slightly to the right of where I'm standing. Now to the tune. We always kind of waste the surprise in the tune because it's in the title, you know what it's going to be. So the tune is Scots Wa Hay, to give it its correct title as far as Burns was concerned, Bruce's address to his troops at Bannockburn. The words to the song were of course penned by Burns, around about 1790 or whenever that was. The tune goes far, far before that. The tune is Hay Tutti Tati. We don't really know how old that tune is. So fair do as it may go back to 1314 or before. The words to the song, of course, Scots were hay with Wallace bled. I should have introduced Sir William here right at the very start of the video. Scots one Bruce has often led welcome to your gory bed or to victory. And many of the people fighting at Bannockburn in 1314, eight miles up the road there, would indeed have been fighting with Sir William here in 1298. And we'll let William tell you a little bit more about that again. We spoke earlier on about the two battle commanders who were buried here and the main one of course is Sir John de Graham, Wallace's right hand man and main commander for the battle. Sir John was also known by the nickname of the Bright Sword as his flashing sword was to be seen on any battleground in which he fought. One commander that I didn't mention who is not buried here was Macduff of Fife who died early on in the battle and was probably taken back over to Fife with the survivors of the battle. We have a commemoration, we have held a commemoration here every year for the past 15 years and part of the commemoration is to come up to the church here and pay tribute to the commanders and the men of Butte who were buried here. We currently are looking to expand this commemoration to two full days and to that extent we have a, crowd, a crowdfunder on the go and it would be very much appreciated to anyone who wishes to contribute to the Battle of Falkirk commemoration to go online and have a look at this, this crowdfunder. <laughs> 